high. Surface tension is the natural tendency of the external molecules of a material to remain tightly stretched between themselves. Otherwise, the things around us will vanish like smoke into the air. So, these external molecules are unwilling to pass from the second dimension into the third dimension to produce a bigger area as a consequence. We can prove this very easily. Grab a roll like this and cover one of its circular sides with film. This circular surface exists in a two-dimensional world, but as you push an object like this cube against the film, you can see that a bigger surface of film is being created in the third dimension. Keep on pushing to increase the surface area of the film, but be careful, because at some point the film will break away and the cube may smash in your face. You can feel that your force and energy are needed to create a bigger surface, otherwise nothing will happen naturally. So, the use of force led us to use weights to measure surface tension. And basically, this is the principle behind most of the methods for measuring surface tension. Let me show you how it is done. Just gather some simple materials like this. Pass the thread only through one eye of a needle and then put it on top of the second needle where it will easily glide. Attach an old ring on one end of the thread and something like a hook on the other end. Place a glass of water and start lowering the old ring until it touches the water. Now, instead of pulling the thread with your hand, let's hang something of known weight. It wasn't enough to break the water surface. Let's put a bit more weight. And we can keep adding on and on. Look how the molecules of water resting at the surface are resisting the pulling force of the weights to bring them into the third dimension to create a greater surface. Keep adding more weight. The molecules keep refusing to pass into the third dimension. Just keep going. Keep adding more weight. Keep adding and suddenly the surface molecules are teared away from those ones remaining in the glass. It's amazing to see how strongly these molecules refuse to pass into the third dimension and create a bigger surface. The force needed is similar to the weight of a strawberry. To see an example on how to calculate the surface tension of water, just click on the image. Thank you for watching and keep in touch.